I got new pants and I am forcing you all to look at them because I like them. <laughs> I got a new outfit because it's my six month anniversary of my boyfriend on Sunday and we're going to a nice restaurant. I'm excited. <laughs> we called to make a reservation and they're like, there's a dress code. It's country club casual. What the fuck is that? I hate Florida. <laughs> Florida and like this like their gulf kind of like culture that's around this area that I live in is so funny anyways <laughs> hello flying being hi how you doing and today we're gonna be watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer season 5 episode 7 Ooh, I'm so excited to get back into Buffy uh obviously I've seen uh the last two episodes that I watched were angels I'm super excited to get back into Buffy but um yeah the last episode of Buffy was the family episode with Tara and all of that Goodness gracious, I'm gonna cry even thinking about it. Yeah, so we also got stuff with, like, obviously, uh, Dawn and that whole thing. Because I think in the episode before the last one that we watched, uh, that was, like, when we found out the whole thing because, like, the monks told us about Dawn and all that. <sighs> it's a whole thing. Um, so I'm excited to see where that continues on in this episode, if we're gonna get more of it. I'm not sure. I'm just excited to keep going with it. Because after this episode, we're going back to Angel for like two episodes. So I'm not sure what could happen in this episode. I'm very excited to find out. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get into it. Back at the cemetery. Let's get into it. The fast growing field of personal grooming's come a long way since you became a vampire. Cutthroat, cutthroat, Buffy. <laughs> Buffy. Bruh. Buffy. Buster. You good? You good in the hood? What? Is our girl okay? Is this a symptom of something bigger? I am- I'm nervous. But I mean, her slayer power. She's gonna be fine, right? That is so much blood. Oh my god. And you're taking it out. Oh gosh. Was that- Oh, Riley? <laughs> okay, Riley. Get it. Girlfriend's bleeding out over there, but yeah. <laughs> Did you try and tase him? <laughs> mm, at least no major organs got kebobbed. I still think you need to see a real doctor. <sighs> that would Use it my lingo now, Buffy. <laughs> Accelerated healing powers come with the Slayer package. And the boy comes complete with. Oh. oh Jeez. <laughs> you see that? Does that like mean something? It's cold. Oh my god, I love that. I, I... Hey, Riley! <laughs> What's the, um, all about? Just ditch the chips. Did they not Watch tell Riley, back. like, they were on their own for a whole ass summer fighting vamps. Not the first rodeo. You know what he's like? <laughs> he's like a cat. It's just so cool. So does Xander just have a uh, cool? thing for calling people cats? He did this with Angel, remember? <laughs> and that was just a running gag for me. Isn't now he's one? calling Riley one. Well, it says this Slayer forged her own weapons. Gotta love a gal with an anvil. Buffy the blacksmith? Let's get it. Where? Look, I realize that every Slayer comes with an expiration mark on the package. But I want mine to be a long time from now. Me too. Like a Cheeto. Like They're just... Well, why didn't the Watchers keep fuller accounts of it? The journals just stop. I suppose if they're anything like me, they just... Find the whole subject too uh... unseemly. Damn, love you, but you watchers are such prigs sometimes. Painful, I was gonna say. Chimes, don't do this to me right now. Don't do that to me. But you're right. The accounts of the final battles would be very helpful, and uh, there's no one left to tell the tales. What? <laughs> Oh, right. Wait, no, no. Yeah, Spike killed like two of them, right? They're gonna show me how. Like training? <laughs> He's gonna train her. Tell the tale, you get the cash. Right. Spike's just in it for you money now, for everything. <laughs> what? Spicy buffalo wings. Order me up a plate, I'm feeling peckish. Spike. <laughs> Were you born this big a pain in the ass? <laughs> what can I tell you, baby? I've always been bad. <laughs> Goodness. You. <laughs> radiant. I'm sorry. Better. Is that fucking spider? Uh, Wait. Quickly. 
I'm the very spirit of vexation. Is that him as a human? What's another word for gleaming? It's Bro. a perfect. Is this gonna be Spike's episode? <laughs> oh my god! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The hair. I. <laughs> 1880. I merely point out that it's something of a mystery. I forget the, the dates, but open mind. Ah, William. Were we told when he turned into a vampire? I don't remember. This... I prefer not to think of such dark, ugly business at all. That's what the police are for. <laughs> I prefer placing Damn, my Spike, energies you bad into creating things. <laughs> of they call him William the Bloody because of his oh. bloody awful poetry. Oh. It suits him. I'd rather have a railroad spike through my head than listen to that awful stuff. Oh, foreshadowing? Oh. <laughs> yes, but are they about me? Every syllable. Oh, God. Oh, uh, mm. oh I know. He's like, oh, sudden. I read the room wrong. Sorry. <laughs> they're only words, but <laughs> the feeling behind they're them. They're just words. <laughs> I do see you. That's the problem. You're nothing to me, William. Ow. You're beneath me. Okay, bitch. Get off your fucking high horse. Okay. Oh, now I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh no, oh no. What? Oh no. Where you going? I'm sorry, the wig looks a little familiar. The wig looks a little familiar. I'm a little scared. <laughs> oh no, is this when it happens? I. And I wonder what possible catastrophe came <laughs> crashing down from heaven and brought this dashing stranger to tears. Nothing. That burning baby fish swimming all around your head. Uh, that, that's quite close enough. <laughs> I love you so much. Walk in worlds the others can't begin to imagine. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to see her again. I mean, no. <laughs> Wait, is Drusilla Spike Sire? Effulgent. Ow! 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 Spike. Ow! 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 Please, I really hope we're getting more of that because holy shit! So you traded up on the food chain. Then what? No, please. I love this. I love this. I love, this. Like I love this. Flip. I had to give myself a gang. Perhaps it's my advancing years that makes me so forgetful, William. I think our boys are going to fight. The King of Cups expects a picnic. <laughs> but this is not his birthday. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I prefer to be, hunted? I was like, okay. <laughs> That's brilliant strategy, really. And again, Pure Connie. Drusilla is literally an eternal drunk girl in a bathroom, <laughs> and I love her. A real kill. A good kill. It takes pure artistry. Without that, we're just animals. <laughs> He's like, I have class. Okay. <laughs> What's a slayer? After that, I was obsessed. Lesson the first. A slayer must always reach for her weapon. Right here, in the Bronx. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Sorry, I'm not a history person. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Used to this. She goodness gracious. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just so happy to get this. I literally love this so much. My little spike just killed himself a slayer. <laughs> Congratulations. I guess that makes you one of us. Don't be so glum, mate. Well, you tell it once later. Hey, Charles is so extra. He's so moody. <laughs> oh my god. 
Dare I say? What a swap. Besides, <laughs> and all we need is for one of us, just one. Sooner or later, to have the thing we're all hoping for. And that would be what? One good day. Not gonna lie, I low key forgot about the chip. Is Riley going back by himself? Riley. You know what they Riley. Put in <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Is it a fucking grenade? Give it to me. I mean, go off, I guess. <laughs> You're not ready to know. I'm ready. Oh. Okay then. We're like this. No. Okay, Spike. <laughs> she looks like she should be in the Matrix. I love the style. <laughs> My goodness. She was cunning, resourceful. Oh, I did it mention. Oh. I could have danced all night with that one. You think we're dancing? Well, that's all we've ever done. Ashton would haunt you. It's the day the day I die. <laughs> oh my gosh, this editing, the choreography, everything. I love it. Part of you wants it. Not only to stop the fear and uncertainty, but because you're just a little bit in love with it. Oh my god. How in the hell? <laughs> Death is your art. You make it with your hands, day after day. That final gasp, that look of peace. Every slayer has a death wish. My goodness. Even you. Sooner or later, you're gonna want it. And the second, the second that happens. Please! Oh my god, I love I'll that. There. I'll slip in. Have myself a real good day. Give it me good, Buffy. Do it. Spike. What the hell are you doing? Come on. I can feel it, Slayer. I can't. What is you oh my you god. Dance. Say I do want to. It wouldn't be you, Spike. You're beneath me. Oh. That hit close to home. That hit close to home. Oh no. Is he. <laughs> I hate it here. I hate it here. I'm gonna cry. Stop it! Stop! No! No! Don't do this to me! Excuse me! What is happening? I can't do this. I can't. Bitch won't need one. Oh my god. I thought it was gonna end there. I was gonna lose it. Why can't you kill her? You're the one who keeps bringing her up. I haven't said a word about the you, bloody slayer since got, we left That California. got me hope, my hopes up that she was going to be there. Carrying on with creatures like this. Okay. Uh, you guys obviously have a thing going on here. Please, please, please. <laughs> I look at you. All I see is the slayer. Hey, I put together that grocery list for you. So is that the last time that she that he's seen her? It's only one night. Boys. And they say, even if there is something, it's still very early if they didn't see it before. They're breaking in the music. Oh, I'm no. going to be fine. <laughs> Joyce, please. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I simply cannot. Not Buffy crying. No. Oh, here comes Spike. Oh no. What is he gonna do? What's wrong? No. Stop it. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> Is there something I can do? Yo, why am I crying? <laughs> He's like, guess I don't need that anymore. I can. <laughs> uh, guess we're crowning the club yet again. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, that was lovely. Nothing could have prepared me for that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm literally like... I was literally on the verge of tears for, <laughs> for like the last 10 minutes because it was just like... It's like an episode that I didn't know I needed, you know? Like... An episode completely dedicated to, like, Spike's background with, like, him becoming a vampire, him killing the two slayers, and, like, it... I'm sorry. This episode... One of my top faves of the entire show. Like, I... I know that's very bold for me to say, but... This episode was fucking amazing. <laughs> I, like, I, like, just think about how we saw Spike in School Hard when he wanted to try and kill Buffy for the first time. We've never met him. And he was, like, just, you know, some big bad vampire, you know? And now I'm fucking crying when he cries? What is happening? <laughs> And it's funny, someone sent me this. <laughs> and I didn't even know that this was like a Spike-centric episode. And I was like, yeah, maybe I can bring out Spike this episode. You guys, I literally... <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. Because I'm just going to restate everything that happened and be like, yes, I loved it. I just love this episode. Okay, anyways, um, I wanted to mention um, the one clip. Uh, here, I'll put up like a screen cap of it. This is a picture that I saw months ago. So it's always been in the back of my mind. I'm like, okay, so I know Drusilla will be back for something. I saw this picture and I was like, maybe like they're gonna like, I don't know, something. So I knew I was gonna see Drusilla at least one more time in the show because I hadn't seen this clip, this little clip. Of course it's now in this episode. So uh, I have no further evidence of if Drusilla is ever coming back <laughs> because previously in like Angel recently, we saw Drusilla in like a flashback. So like getting to see her again in Buffy, but with like the kind of connotation of like, you know, hit her with Spike. <sighs> I fucking love this so much. And I was kind of hoping to see more of the whole I don't know. During season two, remember when, like, the whole Angelus Spike Drusilla thing was happening and it was like, oh, just like old times. I was kind of hoping to see a little bit more of that, but, um, I guess we did see it, but, like, Angelus was just fighting with Spike the entire time. Um, but I thought it was more of, like, a, um, I don't know. I didn't realize that Darla was there the entire time. I guess when I was thinking back on it, like, when I was, like, watching season two i didn't remember like darla was also probably there so i liked this like giving me more context for like the whole backstory for them i thought it was like kind of like all three of them together but instead it's like kind of like darla and Ang angelus and then spike and drew just together you know um with both of them like kind of doing their own thing but together which that was so interesting i just just so fucking good. I literally love the show with my entire heart. I love it. And just, like, getting to see, like, Spike as a human, too. I just love it. Like, so good. So, like, Spike was, like, a human. And he was, like, kind of, like, kind of, like, a nerd. Not really super popular with everyone, especially the ladies. And then he becomes a vampire. And Drusilla. I did not know that Drusilla was his sire. Maybe they told us that in the past. I just forgot but um 
That was super cool to figure out. So my dumb brain. I sometimes forget that the show is airing <laughs> earlier than this. Um, so when we first got that flashback with South America 1998, my brain was like, oh, a while ago. But that was recent <laughs> in the scope of the show. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, but yeah, so that was like probably the last time that we that Spike saw Drusilla. Yeah, so it's been a couple years since he's probably seen Drusilla. She's just getting it up with uh, a guy with antlers, apparently. I mean, you do you, girl. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's quickly talk about the beginning with the whole like Buffy getting stabbed by that one random vampire. Um, I don't know. It's very interesting how they brought that up and like kind of because obviously Buffy is a a slayer. She's fucking amazing at what she does. And she, like, has been killing vampires for, what, five years now? So, uh, it was kind of interesting how they wanted to, like, kind of bring her down a second. Be like, okay, you can still be killed. You can still be killed by these random vampires that you're fighting every day. And, cause, like, the only other times that we've really seen her, like, at, like, almost die is, well, like, the one time when she actually died, when it was the master, which is, like, literally a big baddie vampire that's like you know super powerful and then it's always moments where it's like understandable if that makes sense like where she's like i don't know something's happened where like she can't fully defend herself or something like that not she, we haven't seen her like be like this i think where like she's fully like she's strong she's like in the moment she's like getting her groove in and then suddenly something happens where she gets stabbed so i really liked how they were kind of like bringing it back and be like hey Buffy can still be killed by, like, anyone, just FYI, which scares me. It scares me. Uh, I'm, I'm very nervous. I'm very, I'm so, I'm so nervous. <laughs> but yeah, when that happened, and they were like, yeah, anything could just happen, you know? Giles was telling Buffy, like, anything could happen that could kill you. It kind of reminded me of, like, the Supernatural ending. Um, no big spoilers, but, like, a character died in, like, the stupidest way possible. And when you look at it, you're like... What? This character did all of this- all of this shit, and they died that way? You know? It's like one of those types of things, so... I'm wondering if, like, they're kind of setting up that kind of ending for Buffy, which I really hope is not the case. But, I mean, it could happen, you know? I mean, it almost happened in this episode. So, I'm just nervous. I'm nervous with this whole thing, you know? Especially because, like, she is set to die. Like, it's basically a prophecy that she will die, so. But yeah, so then, uh, the whole thing with Riley, like, right, Riley was, like, with the gang, trying to find the one vamp that, like, almost killed, uh, Buffy, and so he kills that one vamp, and then he <laughs> throws a grenade into the Iconic, honestly. <laughs> like, go for it, Riley. Uh, kind of dumb to go by yourself, but, you know, whatever. At least it worked out. But, um, but again, has no one told Riley that Willow and Xander were on their own with, you know, what, one other person with Oz, right? During that one summer? Yeah, wasn't it just Willow, Xander, and Oz that one summer after season one? Or two? Like, they were, like, fighting vamps, like, full on, like, exactly what Buffy does, so, like, <laughs> come on, Riley, it's okay, you can let them do their thing. If, even if it, you know, involves them chowing down on some chips. I mean, it works for them. <laughs> but yeah, I was kind of sad to just see Willow and not Tara in this episode. But I understand she's not a season regular, so they probably don't have the budget to have her in every episode. But come on, come on. Just name drop her. Come on, I'm very easy with that. Just name drop her, please. But yeah, so then uh, she's talking to Giles, which... Makes me very sad. Please, it, again, Giles is like a father figure to Buffy for me. And I'm like, him talking about her dying. <laughs> please, 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 please don't do that. Please don't do that. I'm going to cry. It just hit me very hard. <laughs> it's like when a uh, older relative like talks about like when they're going to die. Like obviously everyone's going to die. But you don't need to talk about that, Grandma. Grandma, don't shut up. <laughs> you know, like it was like one of those moments and it, uh, it hurt me. <laughs> This episode was a lot, okay? I wasn't expecting you to want to cry so much, but uh, 
I simply wanted to a lot. Uh, anyways. So they were talking about that, and then, um, obviously they, like, wanted to figure out why each Slayer died. Like, what happened in their, like, last fight that was, like, so insane that they died, you know? Which is interesting to think about, you know? Like, how, how did all these people die over, you know, the course of, like, all these Slayers and... I'm sure some of them just died because a vampire got to them before they could get trained, you know? But, um, it was interesting that Spike having killed two Slayers has, it's come back and, like, we got to learn more about that and, uh, I don't know, Buffy going to Spike with that, I, just so good, just so good, and I loved getting to hear, uh, Spike's whole backstory with all that, again, just... It's so good. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This is like, literally, I just keep thinking about everything in this episode and I'm like, I love this episode. Like, it's not a f super fun ride, but it's like, it just is so good. <laughs> it's so emotional and it just has all the things that just, <sighs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm already calling it. This is probably going to be like within my top five for the season. And it's already probably going to be in, like, my top ten for, like, the whole show. Because I just... It's good, okay? It's good. It's amazing. <laughs> but it was also super cool to see... Okay, what is the Boxer Rebellion? Wait, real quick. <laughs> the Boxer Uprising was a violent, anti-foreign, anti-Christian, anti-imperialist uprising, which was staged in China. If only I knew history, and then it would have, uh, you know, I would have known things. But <laughs> at least they gave us the year. <laughs> the, there's uh, China, like, 1900. Super cool. I really liked getting to see, like, another Slayer and, like, a different culture. Like, I don't know. It's just so interesting to me how in the entire world, there a Slayer could just be picked anywhere. I love it. I love it so much. Like, it's just super... I don't know. It's just, like, so cool that, like, the show, like, goes beyond just, like, America with, like, that kind of stuff. Like, I don't know. I just really love it. Like, it's very much a, um, you know, world-building thing. Like, it just... so good. And, uh, yeah, the choreography, everything in that scene, too. Fucking amazing. And... Also, the, like, sets and everything. Like, damn. Love it all so much. But, um, but yeah. Then the second Slayer that was in New York. Why does she look so cool? <laughs> Again, she looks like she should be in the Matrix, and I love that about her. But at the end, Spike is taking off her jacket. Is that the jacket that he always wears? If so, that is... Super cool to find out that that was originally a Slayers. I mean, that's pretty cool to me. Oh my god, the choreography and everything in that scene where he's fighting on the subway. And it, like, flashing back to, like, present day with Buffy and Spike fighting. And, like, Spike in the subway cart talking to the camera, but, like, talking to Buffy. Listen, listen. That might be one of my favorite sequences ever on this show. I loved how they did that. It was so smart for them to do it that way. And I am blown away by how amazing it turned out. Like, it's so, like, oh, God. Like, the choreography, too. Like, all that lining up. So good. So fucking good. Oh, my God. I... Who was the director in this episode? Fuck, I forgot. Um... Oh, wait, I forgot to say the name also, but, um, okay, so the director was Nick Mark. Have I seen that before? Okay, so Nick Mark has directed The Ring and Angel. Is that, like, it recently? Okay, so, like, the most recent thing that he's directed for the show was The Ring on Angel. So, this man. Fuck it up, Nick Mark. And then the, it was written by Douglas Petrie. He's also a common name, I feel like, for the show. So, yeah. Love to see it. But, yeah, this episode was called Fool for Love. 
I've had it. I've had enough. <laughs> I, I already told you guys in the last uh, Buffy episode, uh, or the Buffy episode before that. Listen, bike might be uh, something I am interested in, okay? Okay? I'm, uh, I'm a little interested in it, okay? Don't tell Riley that. Don't tell Riley that. I'm just saying. The people that have said Riley's a little boring may have some points. Not for last season, but for right now. Riley's a little boring. <laughs> but I am just, like, so into the whole... Just this whole episode. Like, the whole, like... <laughs> listen. 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 The end scene for that one... Right after the uh, him fighting on the subway and all that. If you don't cry when Spike starts tearing up after Buffy says that you're beneath me, you're not human. You're simply not human. What is this shit on this show? Like, I don't even know what to say. Like, I was not expecting that from his character. And then it happened and I was like, ow. <laughs> like, it was like a, oh, Ow. <laughs> like, oh, okay, I guess I care about this character a lot more than I thought I did. <laughs> you know, like, does that ever happen, like, where you're watching a show and then something really bad happens to a character, like, a character starts crying, and then you feel really bad, and you're like, I wasn't expecting to like this character that much, or care about this character that much, but okay. I'm simply very sad. I'm simply very sad. Um, it was just, like, one of those things where I'm, like, I don't know, it also just, like, I don't know. Like, the whole, um, this has been, like, a huge topic for, like, past couple Angel episodes with, like, the whole, like, what is a vampire with, like, emotions and things and, like, the personality. Like, do vampires, like, have the capacity to love, like, humans and all that? Or, like, you know, like, I have had that, like, conversation in the past couple Angel episodes because I'm not entirely sure the whole lore and everything behind it, but, um, if you are interested in more of it, I talk about it a lot in my Angel episodes. But, um, it's cool to see in this episode, like, that level of, like, being so hurt by something like that. Like, something that, like, happened so long ago. Literally over 100 years ago. And it's just still something that's, like, makes you feel so small. Listen, I'm just, I'm just saying... It's just so interesting, Spike's character. Like, he's a vampire, and, like... Oh, I am so fucking happy that they went with the whole, like, him having a chip so that he can't hurt Buffy. That is such a smart fucking thing to do. To have it be, like, having a reason for Buffy to give Spike mercy so that um, she doesn't kill Spike. But then also giving a reason for Spike not to kill Buffy because, obviously... You know, the whole chip in his brain. Um, but he did mention in this episode, he was like, I'm just gonna kill her, and then I'm gonna, you know, feel pain in my brain for, like, two hours, but then I'm gonna be fine. Which, that was something that I was gonna, like, uh, ask. I was like, so let's say Spike does kill someone, and he, like, gets through the pain of killing someone. Does the pain continue, or is it just in the moment of, like, after he's done the deed, is it fine? Um, so that could be interesting to see. But, um... I'm just, I, I love Spike's character so fucking much, and I'm so happy to see them, like, using his character more, because that was one thing that I was kind of upset about in the last season. Like, of course I love Spike. I love Spike's character. But it just felt like he wasn't, like, used properly. Like, he was just, like, you know, like, he was a season regular, but it didn't really feel like it. So I'm excited that, like, this is happening now. Then, at the end when oh my god so joyce uh is potentially has something wrong with her <sighs> medically and i'm sad please 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 uh if joyce fucking dies to some medical thing i will lose my shit no thank you no absolutely not like, literally, just don't. Just don't do it, please. <laughs> I'm begging you. Don't do that to me. But, um... Oh my god, seeing Buffy 
so emotional after that. It. <laughs> I want to cry. Uh, especially after the whole him talking, uh, her talking to Spike. I forget when they said it, but like Spike was like the one main difference between you and all these other slayers that I killed and other slayers before you, you actually have friends, you have a family, you have people around you that can support you and like, you know, because other slayers, like they just don't have anyone. Like once they become a slayer, it's like anyone around you could potentially die because of vampires. So, you know, it's very hard to like keep people around you. But Buffy has been able to, and it's been such a strength for her to, like, have all these people on her side. And now, Joyce! Joyce? I'm just sad. I will cry if Buffy loses Joyce. I simply will not be able to live through that. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. But, um, yeah, after that, um, Buffy... Buffy goes outside and she's crying and obviously Spike's on his way to like try and kill her um, for like the 50th time and he sees her crying and please him going what's wrong and being like is there anything I could do to help <laughs> I can't I can't I can't what why am I crying? Why am I crying right now? I am seriously crying in the club. I came out to have a good time and I am seriously feeling so attacked right now. I'm so sorry. This review is all over the place and it's literally just me being like, oh my god, I love this episode. <laughs> but it's literally so fucking good. Like, I don't even know what else to say. Choreography. Bomb. Editing. Bomb. The fucking directing. Writing. Acting. The everything. Bomb. <laughs> fucking amazing. Hello, Editing Alley here. Uh, I forgot to mention, uh, Spike tried to kiss Buffy in this episode and I completely forgot to mention it. But yeah, what the fuck? Can I say that again? What the fuck? Oh my God. And just, ugh, okay. Ugh, I'm so mad that I forgot this, but holy shit. His whole like facial structure, like changing and like his facial expression changing right before he tries to kiss her. I've had enough. I've had enough and I want to scream. But, oh God, it's just so good. And like right after like getting rejected, Buffy being like, no, you'll, it'll never be you. Even if I get killed by a vampire, it'll never be you. You're beneath me and all that. And then he starts crying. No, no, absolutely not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. And the fact that like they bring this back after we have the flashback with him being rejected by like someone when he was a human and then now obviously he feels so much like I don't know like more himself as a vampire so it's like kind of like so much more hurtful that someone would reject him now as a vampire uh, especially like a slayer and I also forgot to mention this when he goes to see Drusilla in 1998 in South America for the last time and the whole thing like with Drew leaving is because she still sees the Slayer around Spike. He keeps thinking of Buffy. And I think that is so interesting that like that sort of obsession over Buffy being the Slayer because he's killed two Slayers, obviously, and he's always like sought out the Slayer to kill them. But it's so interesting how like that sort of obsession has now turned into a sort of like different type of obsession with like him now being interested in her in a different way. It's so interesting interesting to me and I'm so excited to see like how his actions change like obviously it's changed a lot already like from season two when like he's like actively trying to kill her any chance he gets and now like stalking her like outside of her house like just keeping an eye on her doing not even doing anything just like talking to her and then like in this episode like helping her and like it's just so much and I'm so excited like listen 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 I know I know I know. But bike can fucking get it. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not apologizing to anyone. I'm into it. I'm into it. <laughs> I want to see what happens. But yeah, back to the video. I sure do love to see it. I sure do love to see that on the show. And I'm so happy to keep going with it. But 
Anyways, I should probably try and wrap this up because I'm just going to keep going on a tangent about how much I love this episode. Anyways, <laughs> um, the next episode is episode seven for Angel. So we're going back to Angel. Um, yeah, so we're going back to Angel for two episodes and then we're coming back to Buffy for three episodes. So look forward to that. Uh, but yeah, so obviously, like I said, the next episode is Angel episode seven and then we're going to watch episode eight and we're going to be back to Buffy. So... Uh, I wish I could just keep going with Buffy, but uh, this is just so good. Both these shows are so fucking good right now. I'm loving it. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, I wonder we like a third through the season now. I'm loving it. Anyways, I think that is all I have to say for this episode. So yeah, thank you to all my beautiful patrons over on Patreon. I will see you guys next video. Bye.